Good morning, GW. Although we aren't on campus to deliver our monthly episodes, there are still lots going on in the GW community amid the coronavirus pandemic. G Week is continuing to bring you our coverage here online. I'm Izzy Angeli, and thank you so much for joining us for this remote episode. With GW asking students to stay home for the rest of the semester, moving out procedures are underway. The university has hired two moving companies to package and store students' belongings in residence halls, JK Moving and Storage Squad. Students were not given the option to return to campus and retrieve their own belongings, and instead, moving professionals will call or FaceTime students to identify their belongings in their dorms. The university sent out an email on April 3rd announcing that they will be canceling all summer housing and moving all summer courses online. In addition, all GW libraries will remain closed. Many students who are planning on working or interning over the summer rely on GW housing. With the transition to online classes, GW professors have resorted to using platforms such as Zoom, Blackboard, and other video collaboration tools to keep up with their syllabi. Of course, this has come with difficulty for both the students and faculty, such as hackers, technical issues, and the lack of person-to-person -person interaction. Due to these circumstances, the university has granted a pass-no-pass -pass option for students. Student body elections are still scheduled to take place on April 8th and 9th. Students can vote for student association candidates as well as referenda. There are six official student association presidential candidates, two vice presidential candidates, and a number of senator campaigns. In addition, there are five referenda on the ballot, one being a vote on the university divesting fossil fuel investments. Divest GW is pushing their hashtag say yes to divest campaign after becoming notable on campus for protesting alongside student tour groups. In lieu of on campus presence, the group has been advertising using TikTok and Instagram in hopes of the referenda passing, thus putting more pressure on the university to actually divest funding. Drive through coronavirus testing is now available on campus in the lot on 20th and H Street. Patients with symptoms have been told to reach out to their healthcare providers to get an order for testing. Testing is by appointment and drive through only. And that just about does it for G Week's first update during the coronavirus pandemic. We hope you'll join us again soon for more updates and our hearts are with you, GW. But for now, anchoring here from home, I'm Izzy Angeli. Stay safe and stay healthy. Hey.